Hello everyone and welcome to the Phillips 66 Community Stadium for this National League North fixture between champions Salford City and the mighty Leamington FC. Leamington giving a guard of honour today to the champions Salford City. It's the last game of the season, Leamington guaranteeing a survival last time out against York City, keeping them in the National League North with a small budget against full-time teams like Salford City. This really is a fantastic achievement by the lads. And here comes Salford City now. This confetti cannon has gone off to celebrate their league win. Fans standing to applaud. What is a fantastic outfit, it must be said. They've had a brilliant season. Now they go up to the National League. Gary Neville says they want to get all the way to the EFL. Now they come onto the pitch to applaud their fans. They give the recognition they deserve because they have been the best of team in this division this year and they fully, fully deserve the plaudits they're going to get today. The referee today is going to be Aaron Jackson, assisted by Liam Corrigan and Richie Watkins. South are playing in their blue and Leamington in their yellow. My name is Edward Farrell, we're here for commentary today. I'm joined by Jack Butler. We'll go through team lineups in a second, but Jack, first thoughts. Yes. What, are you gonna, what, what do you think is going to happen today? What are you feeling? I'm not sure. I mean, you, you look back to the previous game of the season, Leamington got a fantastic result away to Salford, winning 3 2, um, winner from Revan in the final moments. But Salford, their reason they're champions. They, they look very good. They've got a fantastic following, as you can hear. The atmosphere here at Phillips 6 6 Community Stadium is absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away, to be honest. Um, on both sides, really, really good turnout for this final game of the season. I'm looking forward to it. Two changes for Leamington. Dan Udo and Joe Magunda drop out. In come Matt Dodd and Curtis Revan. Lots of changes for Salford City. Nine, in fact. The only players to survive are Liam Hogan, the captain, and Ibu Ture from last week's 2-1 loss against Boston United. They've made nine changes. I'm not even sure that Leamington have 20 players. So I think this kind of shows the difference between the teams, but Salford are a fantastic outfit. We look forward to them playing today. Leamington FC will be shooting towards the North Bank. The Salford support have come in fancy dress today. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to do at the end of the season. It's a great atmosphere. All about today is how teams can stretch each other. We know that Salford are likely to be the fitter outfit. They're a full-time team. We'll see how Leamington can counteract that as the corner is whipped in. It's headed away, it'll fall to Richie Allen, heads it back out to Ebo Ture, one of the two survivors from the last game. A, a poor touch from Richie Allen, Kieran Dunbar now finds Gittings, Curtis Revan in front of him, Curtis Revan now will chase this down, Curtis Revan can get there first, he does that, he's brought down by Scott Burton. Curtis Revan on the floor, he was away there, and I think that's going to be a yellow card early on for Scott Burton, a free kick on the Leamington left hand side. Callum Gittings standing over this one. Ahmed Obeng hovering on the edge of the air. You can see English, Revan and Edwards all in there. Dodd waiting at the back pace. Gittings will whip this in towards the back post. That's over everyone. Matty Dodd will try and get there, but doesn't quite make the connection and it's a Salford City goal kick. Just a little bit over hit there, just trying to play it into that area where someone can get on the end of it. The junior English is very versatile. He's played in midfield for Leamington before. He's eclipsed that into the box. It's collected by Curtis Revan, who brings it down. His shirt is being pulled and nearly falls to Kieran Dunbar. It's cleared away. It looked like there was a little little touch on the, his as Salford break away there. A great tackle there from James Mace. What a wonderful tackle from him. The issue is for Leamington is when you have got three centre backs, and they've played against three centre backs before, is the striker can get isolated, especially if Obeng and Matt Dodd are driven forward by Beasley and Toure, who both look. Yeah threatening when they're going forward. The ball's clipped in and it's going forward and it's going to go to Tony Breen. No, he's not going. It's a goal. No, it's a goal. Eventually, Anthony Dudley has scored. The win there. Again, I think opposed. I thought Breeden was coming out. He wasn't sure about it. Didn't get to Breeden. Dudley with a tame finish. Breeden couldn't get there. And then Junior English couldn't quite keep the ball out. And that was completely out of nowhere. South City take the 1 0 lead. I think it's the first time we've seen a side. There's been a lot of sides trying to, both of them being trying to clip the ball through to the, the striker. And that's the first time that we've seen a, a decent ball through. And, and Salford do well to finish it. A little bit of assist from the wind. And unfortunately, Leamington are 1 0 down now to Salford City. I mean, unfortunately, Junior English couldn't quite get anywhere near it. Gittings or clip that into English. 
Bill von Gittings, getting some time to find the ball. It's clipped in over Crocombe's head. Edwards rises. Edwards is headed away. Just here falls to Matty Dodd now. It's cleared away on the line there by Lives here. Falls to Dunbar. He shoots. It's cleared away again. Not all the way though. Dunbar will rise for that one. It is going to be cleared now by Salford. Edwards. Really, really good response there from Leamington. Fantastic ball in. And Jack Edwards again does fantastically there. On the stretch at the back post and able to get a decent header to a little bit towards the line. But... I mean, it's, it's always difficult for keepers when you have such a strong breeze, as um, Tony Breeder found out. Well, uh, now this well as Burton drifts forward. Burton with his right foot shoots and just wide of the post. He clipped past a couple of players, shot, and he came off the outside of his foot, always sliding away from the far post. But Breeden <laughs> stranded. That was far too easy for Salford in the end. You can see why they're champions already, but that that bit that's just a little bit of quality you've seen from Beasley driving past Obang and there Burton driving past. Leamington I think just need to make sure that they do not go 2-0 down quickly and they can still cause problems with set pieces. As I think Edwards is down now, it's clipped forward by Shelton, Askew will collect down this left hand side. Shoots and scores! And what a finish that is! That's Phoenix actually with a brilliant finish. The ball is played over the top by Shelton, it's clipped in. English is defeated by that first touch and a driving finish. Phoenix is absolutely brilliant there, wide on the left hand side, cuts inside and then smashes the ball into the top corner. Absolutely no chance there for Tony Breeden and exactly what you said Ed, Leamington really not wanting to concede the next goal or with it all to do now but what a finish Ed, that is an absolutely As brilliant Askew's moment of quality dragged, there. Uh, Askew and Phoenix have dragged English wide this half and then the first touch is brilliant, English is in no man's land, he's got no chance and what an unbelievable finish into the far corner. Richie Allen now getting to dropped into mid defence almost. There's a space here for Dudley who shoots a great save from Tony Breeden. What an unbelievable save, and you can see his worth. Off balance, he sticks his left hand now, some palms it wide, and what a brilliant save that is from Tony Breeden. But that all comes from uh, Leamington there. The, mi the midfield and the defence, massive gap in between, and Richie Allen's able to find some space, work the ball through, and they're able to get the strike away. And Breeden, fantastic save there with his left hand, tipping it over. It's fired out wide to Beasley. We find Richie Allen deep already, looking for space. He'll find space for Dudley on the edge of the area. We'll find Burton on his right foot, shoots us over the bar and into the north bank. There's way too much. There's, there's way too much space there, and you didn't really have an option. So eventually, I think he just thought, you know what? Why not? The starting off already though is Sheldon or. Play that forward towards Dudley who has some space on the right side of the penalty area. Up against Gittings. Who can he find? Same for a step overs, but clear away by Edwards. And now Revan with pretty much nothing in front of him will try and drive forward. Beats the player. Holds it off. Brilliant bit of skill. But Again, that's the issue for Leamington. Bringing the ball forward, but they've got no one to hold it up. As Beasley fires this into the area towards Felix who scores. And there's 3 now, and that's far too easy for Mike Phoenix to score a second. Space Revan gave it away, he was no support, and BC found all the space in the world. A delicious cross. Phoenix had got away from his marker, and Breeden was absolutely helpless and couldn't move. And that's Salford City 3, Leamington 0, and there is no way back now for Leamington. That goal again comes from the fact that Leamington haven't been able to hold the ball up once they've got the ball into Revan. He's, he's done a, as good of a job as he's been able to, but he's got no support. And Salford able to easily win the ball back and then strike so quickly. And that's the difference between the two sides. Salford have been able to ch change from defence into offence very quickly and Leamington with one up top haven't really been able to put Salford under enough pressure. Goodger onto his left foot into Dunbar with an angle, it's a poor cross though from Dunbar, a little bit wasted there, onto his right foot, does cross it in this time, it's cleared away, falls to Callum Gittings, a poor touch though and here's 
Dudley, he'll try and get past Mace, and he's going to. Dudley onto his left foot. Richie Allen with him. Great tackle again by Mace, who I tell you what, this is the best I've ever seen James Mace play today. I know we're 3 0 down, but some of the last ditch tackles he's made have been phenomenal. Revan finds his place on his right hand side, tries to get the cross, he'll fall to Dodd. Dodd tries to chip it over Crocombe, a little bit ambitious, and for a moment the crowd was up, but Crocombe always had that covered really. Oh, Obang now makes it Obang onto his right foot, Dunbar out left, plays it through to Junior English, Junior English can't get there, good, very good goalkeeper. It's just that composure there from Lemberton in the final third swimming. As he bursts through, he just needs to keep his head and make sure that pass is weighted correctly. And he just got a little bit too much on it, and that allowed to, um, sorry, the Salford goalkeeper to come out and claim Straight it. Straight away, Max Crocombe is making those decisions. He's committing to it, which I think was a mistake by Breedham. There's some space here for Dudley, who finds Richie Allen. Teray whips in, brilliant ball. It's cleared away by Edwards. A fantastic ball from Teray. I'm very impressed with him. Very, very impressed as Dudley will get the recycled ball and play it through to Shelton on the area. Under pressure from Magunda. Here's Dudley, shoots and scores, and that's 4 0. A brilliant, brilliant play by Salford. That's some great football, some brilliant passing play. Dudley involved, Shelton involved, and Dudley puts a brilliant finish. It's from a tight angle all the way into the far corner, and Tony Green left stranded. Salford City 4, Lemonson FC 0, and let's be honest, that was very good football. That was really nice football there, cutting in from a like brilliant one-touch football, and that's the quality that they have. Um, they all seemed on the on the same wavelength, and then Dudley with a fantastic finish, driving it past Tony Breeden into the far left-hand side. Fantastic finish, that's his second of the afternoon, two players on a hat-trick now for Salford. And Leamington needs to keep their heads now. It's very difficult, but you've got to look around. Characters in the team now need to step up and make sure that this doesn't take the shine off a fantastic season, but you can't take anything away from the quality of Salford. Good job, then. We'll fire this in towards Magunda, and it's just wide. Just, I mean, Joe Magunda has a couple of times come close. Season petering out for Leamington. What a great season it's been. They'll remember great results. 3-2 against Salford, against York's draws against York City and ultimately I don't, I don't think how what, what crook what hook they got it through staying up was the main thing as there's some space here for Ture who takes a strike comes off the post and it falls to <laughs> it falls to Dudley who in a dreadful attempt to put that back in that's a great try for Torres swinging away from Breedon's taken the post I think and it's nearly fallen for Dudley who skies it Walker onto his left foot, tries to take it inside, Goodger does so on his left foot, not much, and he clips it towards the back post, Dudley, great save from Breeden. He spread himself out wide, Dudley tries to beat him at his front post, the two strong arms, very much like Peter Schmeichel, Breeden keeps it out. Contrasting football clubs, contrasting squads and contrasting journeys, but they've got exactly where they want to go, each team, and frankly, both teams will consider this season success. As Richie Allen drives forward, Ogurundi in space, Ogurundi now on the left side of the area, poor first touch, he's on his left foot, shoots, and it's oh. just off the crossbar! Brilliant effort off balance, and Breeding wasn't quite getting there off the I mean, crossbar. I, I think he was looking to cross that, he sort of sliced it, and it, it, it caught Breeden out and it crashes into the crossbar, but really good play from Ogarindi down the, the left hand side. It looks a real handful and a, a real prospect for next year coming through their academy. So you really know, now take the goal kick with the ball. There's been pounding him. Cheers there from the Salford fans who are loving the day out and their whole season. And that's it. Two different clubs. Two different journeys, but two absolutely brilliant seasons for two clubs. But at the end of the day, Salford the better team, and Leamington will be mighty happy with their season, if not their performance. But this shouldn't take any shine off 
uh, Leamington season. They've been absolutely fantastic this year. They, they sorted out their safety last week with a fantastic result. And this game always had the feel it was going to be more of a celebration of the season rather than an actual battle. Um, it's been an emotional season for Lamington FC and us here at Raw Sport for covering it. We've loved every single moment of it. It's been a fantastic journey. Salford fans streaming on the pitch for one of their successes. Lamington fans will congratulate their team on staying up in the National League North. What a season it's been for Lamington. Slightly sour note to finish, but at the end of the day they'll be mighty happy. And it's a big occasion for both clubs who've both enjoyed great seasons. It ends here for the final time this season at the Phillips 66 Community Stadium. Salford City 4, Lamington FC 0. Thank you very much for watching.